My name is Nick Williams and I'm the owner and manager of Smoky Mountain Jet Boats in Bryson City, North Carolina. We build aluminum jet boats for the commercial and recreational market. We sell excitement. It's really important that our boats look incredible. Our customers demand not only strength, but sexiness. So building sexiness out of aluminum, you can see the boats have a lot of curves on them and building a lot of curves is, uh, is, a, is not an easy task. So using uh, the best equipment uh, is, is really important. So we've been very uh, excited and um, thrilled to use these Miller machines over the past couple of years. We're under uh, uh, Coast Guard jurisdiction. Uh, so the Coast Guard comes and inspects all our welds and it's really important that every single weld is it, it visually looks really good um, uh, so that the, the inspectors can come in. Uh, we want to try to make their life as easy as possible. Uh, now we use three spools of wire so uh, using the MIG process is, is the only way that we're going to be able to get these boats together in a timely fashion uh, so that we can be profitable. But we need a state-of-the-art machine uh, to, to lay down the beads, limit distortion, and uh, uh, put the boats together fast enough. I mean, these are uh, handcrafted boats, um, and our guys are really talented, uh, but time is always limited. We're always under the gun uh, to meet a deadline. The 352 is actually has steel and aluminum capabilities. So it's real nice uh, being a small shop to be able to have that capability. It, uh, it used to be that we would turn away a lot of jobs because uh, it's just too much trouble. You know, it was a job too big to be tigged, but somebody comes in with a, and, and all we gotta do is switch the settings and we can do, uh, you know, some quick steel welding for somebody and uh, charge a premium. And all it is is a matter of flipping a couple of switches. So having that, you know, dual capability is amazing. The guys have been very impressed that it works equally as well on aluminum as it does steel. I've worked with steel and aluminum. I like working with aluminum better. It's a little more of a challenge. But with the uh, Miller welders, it makes, uh, it makes it a lot easier and we can do better quality work with them. The uh, handle, the adjustment on the handle um, makes it um, a lot easier on us because we don't have to climb in and out of the boats to adjust our welders. And uh, with the adjustment on the longer lead, we can uh, set the welder in one place and not have to worry about moving our welder from the front of the boat to the rear of the boat. We can just set it in one place and work from there. A roller where you can adjust the settings on it so you don't have to get in and out of the boat every time you need to change something. So, uh, You know, you'll be down in these tight places sometimes and uh, you don't want to jump in and out of the boat to change little settings when you can do it right on the gun, so that makes it nice. The thing I found out with the Pulse Weld is if you're welding the uphill, it seems to help a lot because the aluminum melts and seems to kind of droop. So with that, it kind of cools it, heats it, cools it, heats it. So that makes it nice, but uh, you know, it's a good machine.